So in this video we've got a 2014 Mitsubishi Outlander windscreen installation. The windscreen's cracked so put a new one in it. So the first thing we're going to do is, as always, is remove the, the windscreen wipers. There's two nut cover caps here. Then we've got a 13mm bolt. Sorry, a 13mm nut on each of the wipers and just flex the elbow to release the wiper if the wiper is really tight and it's not coming off with flexing the elbow just spray some WD-40 on it and leave it for 5-10 minutes and it should, it should come free with that Then next we're going to remove the, the scuttle panel. There's half a dozen plastic clips just to be removed. And then the, the scuttle panel just releases straight out. There's two plastic end pieces here. They just pull out as well. And I'm just soaking the, the stickers there just to take the stickers off the glass. Remove the interior mirror and the, the camera bracket. And I'm just going to start cutting the, the windscreen out with my, my Milwaukee multi-tool with my, my thin L-shaped blades just get right in the back of the windscreen there just being careful not to damage the, wind, the, the paintwork Just take your time, don't force it or, or you'll snap the blades I just like to sp spray a little bit of glass cleaner on the, the edge of the glass there just to keep the keep the blade cool so it doesn't overheat. Now on this video I've, I've shortened the video a little bit. I've actually went round the round the glass with two different sizes of, of blades. A, nine, a small blade which is 19mm and then a 25mm blade and that gets right around the, the, the sides and the top. So once I've cut around the edges I'm just going to go on the inside and cut the bottom of the windscreen out with my, my Alpha knife with a fresh sharp blade, just being careful not to, to damage the dash once that's cut through that's the windscreen released, just lift it out and I'll stick it in the van and dispose of that later and now we need to cut the, the old urethane bead away from the bodywork just using a, a scraper blade, fresh scraper blade in here, 25mm one. Just be careful not to, to cut into the paintwork. Always pushing the blade away from yourself. And you just cut this back, right back to the metal. It'll leave, it'll probably leave a millimetre, about a millimetre on the bodywork, which you want for uh, to reactivate with the, the new uh, urethane bond that you're going to put on.
always use a, a fresh sharp blade on it because it a nightmare trying to cut it back with a, with a blunt blade. Once that's cut back I'll just brush any dirt, any dirt and moisture off the, off the aperture of the pinch weld. This one was quite dirty. It's amazing what the, the stuff that gets in behind the glass. So I've cleaned the windscreen, took all the stickers off it, cleaned it on both sides with glass cleaner and now I'm just putting my a white spirit, cleaning the edge and the same on the pinch weld just to remove any contaminants. Just give that a good clean all the way around. I just use disposable shop towels. Once that's dirty, I just throw it away. Sometimes I'll use one, sometimes I'll use three or four, just depending on how dirty it is. Just want to get it as clean as possible. So this windscreen has an encapsulation trim that sits on the back of the glass. It's just a finishing trim, it's purely cosmetic. It doesn't bond the glass or anything like that, it's not a seal. Um, a lot of the windscreens on cars come with these on them. But this, this make and model comes separate. You've just got to stick it on the back of the glass yourself. It's pretty straightforward. A lot of windscreens I do that you can reuse trims. If the trim's in good condition, you can reuse it, but if it's an encapsulated wood trim like this that actually just sticks to the back of the glass, you really need to replace it. Just take your time, make sure it's make sure it's fixed on correctly and stuck down properly all the way around. And the actual bond, the bond line goes between that, on the back of the glass, between that trim on the black band, all behind the black band all the way around. So that's what, that's what actually seals the, the glass. So I'll just turn, I'll, I'll turn that windscreen over now and just make sure it's, just press the trim down, make sure it's connected all the way around. So once that's done, go around the windscreen with the black primer. Very important part. Some of the bonds you get nowadays, are, they say they're primerless, but I think the primer on the glass and bodywork is really important to give proper adhesion. If you don't put it on, I've seen too many horror stories with the, the glass just coming away for the, the bond. Just do the same with the bodywork. You can also cover any, any nicks or scratches on the bodywork. You're just using the, the existing bond line there as a guide. A little nick on the edge of the pillar there.
So I'll leave that primer to dry for about five minutes and I'm ready to set up the, the little buddy one man lifting tool. So just attach that to the to the passenger side drop glass and the other the other part goes on the glass. And I'll just use my Milwaukee caulking gun. As always I've got a a V-shaped bead high thin bead just take that all the way around the the pinch weld just using the old bond line as a guide just try and get the the bead bang bang in the centre of the pinch weld between the the A pillar on the inside and the A pillar bodywork on the outside just so there's no overspill it's going to be visible once you've fitted the glass so once that's all the way around you just join the, join the joins up making sure it's 100% watertight and just lift the, lift the windscreen in this just hooks on there you can see just the pivot arm just opens up and I can just walk around the vehicle and just guide it up into place. Just line line the corner up. You line one side up, the rest of it will align itself up. Just tape it up. Take both sides up, just make, make sure it's it's pushed right into the glue and just re, re, reconnect the camera on the inside. This is a camera and a uh, rain sensor built into one. So just refix that back onto the onto the bracket that's on the glass. This will be getting recalibrated, customers getting this recalibrated herself at the dealership. Just pop the cover back on and the rear view mirror just slides over the bracket and just pushes into place and it's just a case of a reversal of what I stripped down at the start of the job just build the scuttle panel back up make sure all the, the clips are back in place That's me just pushing the clips in. I need to try and adjust my my point of view camera angle a little bit. A lot of the videos, my head movement isn't the best. I think you get the gist of it, of most of it. If you look back on it, some of my other videos, I've got I've got two cameras. I've got a point the point of view camera on, and I've got my mother camera filming. So I'll just build up the, reconnect these two side pieces back in. They just they're just a hard rubber. They just pop back into place and go under the. Under the wing here. Just make sure that you're putting things like that back on, just to make take your time and get them put back on properly. There's no point in doing half a job. don't build things up properly and 
things start coming loose or, or come off when the, the customer's driving the car, you're just going to end up getting comebacks and it's, you know what in that, you know what in the, the reputation of being the, just doing the job. So just got all back on and just reattached the wipers. I dropped the bonnet and then just made just reset the wiper, put the ignition on, reset the wiper spindle just to make sure it was in the correct position. So when I do connect them, they're not gonna hit off the sides or hit off the skull. Just tighten the 13 mil nuts up again, just hand tight. Just clip the, the nut covers back in. And that's it, job done. Just give the give the glass a clean up, check that the rain sensor's working properly. Just make sure the wipers are working in the correct position. Just give the UV mirror a little clean there. So I'll put the the wiper stock onto the the auto set and just spray the spray the rain sensor with the glass cleaner and you can see the wipers automatically come on there. Just give it a final clean up. And that car will need to sit for 60 minutes before it's driven. And that's it. Another job done. Thanks for watching.